Hello students, a warm welcome to all of you. In this module, we are going to discuss sixth chapter of our CBSE curriculum of grade 10 that is triangles chapter. So, it is plane geometry. So, that uh, generally students majority of the students they feel that it is very hard we cannot remember so many theorems are there and we cannot understand the problems the properties of different figures plane figures and all. But according to me this is very very easy and interesting and the one who can deal with the geometrical concepts. I repeat the one who can deal with geometrical concepts they can easily deal with any topic in our mathematics any topic you go to algebra or you go to arithmetic or you go to coordinate geometry or you go to statistics or you, you go to any other branch of mathematics can be easily managed if you are familiar and if you are really you know really really interested in geometrical concepts. So, now this concept is also very much easier and we have very limited concepts given in our grade 10 CBSC curriculum right. So, at the end of the session we will be able to understand what is basic proportionality theorem or what is Thales theorem and what is the converse of basic proportionality theorem also. So, in this module we are going to discuss about basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. So, um, I think in <coughs> many books you are given who is named as father of geometry. Who is named as father of geometry? Yes, Euclid named as father of geometry, everybody believe in that. But in Greece, they believe in strongly that father of geometry is Thales. Thales is a famous mathematician in Greece. He actually introduced some geometrical concepts there, that is why those people strongly believe in that. Thales is named as father of geometry. Thales is father of geometry according to them. So, according to Greece people, they name, they believe in that father of geometry is Thales. So, he proposed a few set of theorems. Of course, they are fundamental theorems in our geometry. They are very, very useful and important theorems also. So, those theorem, theorems are basic proportionality theorem and converse of basic proportionality theorem on the applications of basic proportionality theorem and converse some other theorems have been proposed those other theorems are vertical angle bisector theorem as well as similarity theorems also. So, let us try to understand what is the theorem proposed by Thales. So, that theorem is also named as basic proportionality theorem right what is the that theorem is all about I am going to explain. So, the name of the concept that we are going to discuss here is triangles. So, the chapter is sixth chapter that is triangles ok, triangles. So, the very first thing is basic proportionality theorem, basic proportionality basic proportionality theorem or what do you name this? you can call it as Thales theorem. Why is it called Thales theorem? Because he proposed this theorem that is why it is named as basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem right. What is this theorem is all about? Suppose if you draw a triangle, so this is one triangle drawn. Let us name this triangle A, B, C right. In this triangle ABC, suppose if you draw a line parallel to one of the sides, one of the sides means you can draw parallel to BC or you can draw parallel to AC or you can draw parallel to AB. If you draw a line which is parallel to any one of the sides of the triangle, then definitely interse it intersects other two sides in two distinct points. Suppose I am drawing a line, this is the line which is drawn parallel to one of the sides BC then this line intersecting other two sides AB and AC in two distinct points, those two distinct points are D and E. Now, what is the theorem is all about? The theorem says that 
if you draw a line which is parallel to one side of a triangle then it divides the other two sides other two sides what are the other two sides a b and a c so it divides the other two sides a b and a c proportionally means a d by d b is same as a e by e c so the statement is going to be because you will be asked what is the basic proportionality theorem otherwise state and prove basic proportionality theorem so you will have to write the statement what is the statement here if a line if a line drawn parallel to if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle then it divides the other two sides it divides the other two sides in the same ratio in the same ratio this is what is basic proportionality theorem let us try to understand this statement and we'll try to prove the statement see in order to prove the statement first of all the very first step is you will have to analyze the statement accordingly you will have to draw the figure in grade 9 one topic called introduction to euclid geometry in that topic we learnt what are the logical sequence of steps involved in proving a mathematical theorem what are those logical sequence of steps first one is hypothesis that is what is given and second one is conclusion that is what is rtp required to prove and third one is construction if it is required then we will have to go for construction and fourth one is you are going to prove prove it that is the proof these four are four logical sequence of steps involved in proving any mathematical statement so like that what is the information given in the statement in triangle abc you are drawing a line parallel to one side this is a line drawn parallel to one side so that is what is the information given otherwise you can call it as hypothesis given or hypothesis okay so what is this given our hypothesis in triangle abc in triangle abc what is given de is a line drawn parallel to bc that is what the information given and what is rtp required to prove otherwise you can call it as conclusion so what is this required to prove here we need to prove that then it divides that line divides the other two sides in equal ratio means ad by db is same as ae by ec right so you need to prove that ad by db is equal to ae by ec this is what you need to prove so see the information is very limited but you need to prove this ad by db equal to ae by ec so this is what the very interesting thing in plane geometry see this is not something like algebra or arithmetic you have a lot of information and then by using those laws these laws you can prove you can prove or you can find out whatever is required but in our plane geometry the information is very limited you will have to think a lot so that you can improve your thinking skills capacity also see till now according to the triangle concepts we learned how to find area of the triangle and how to find the perimeter of the triangle and the area of the triangle can be calculated in two ways according to our uh, previous studies that when altitude as well as the corresponding base are given then we can find area of the triangle otherwise when three sides also given we can find area of the triangle by using heron's formula also see here we need to prove ad by db is equal to ae by ec you need to explore you need to think a lot about this so which way you can prove that ad by db equal to ae by ec for that i got one idea ad by db ad i can take that ad as the base of one triangle ade if that is the base 
then to calculate the area what could be the height there is no height. So, that is why construction will come into picture did you get my point. So, to find out the height of the triangle when base is given then you will have to draw corresponding altitude. So, corresponding altitude means if this is the base then it should not be the altitude if this is the base then the altitude should be drawn on to that base got my point. So, that is what the construction here and the construction is I am dropping a perpendicular from E on to A D from E on to A D. So, remember one thing the construction always should be in dotted lines ok with the help of that E for example, this is F I can find out area of the triangle A D E by taking this is the base this is the altitude ok fine and coming to the second part what is the second part A D by D B this d b. So, if we if I consider this d b as the base then what what is the triangle I do not know what is the triangle that is why I will do one thing I am going to join b and e. So, that I will form a triangle b d e if the triangle b d e and b d e is the base what would be the corresponding altitude again I will have to think about this. So, then I will do one thing if you once observe this b d is produced to a point f B D is produced to a point F means I am just drawing the triangle over here the altitude is drawn and this is like E D B E D B is like this is not it this is E and this is D and this is B that altitude drawn over here right for this triangle then what is the relation between this altitude this perpendicular and this triangle if you once observe since B D is produced this side and the altitude should be drawn on B D from E then it is not possible to draw altitude from E on to that D B in between D B because altitude means the shortest distance otherwise perpendicular. So, how can you draw perpendicular from E on to that D B in between D and B it is not possible. So, that is why you will have to produce this B D up to some extent and then draw perpendicular from E on to that DB produced then it would be the altitude of this base got my point. So, this is the altitude drawn on to this base. So, for this triangle B D E you can consider E F is the altitude drawn on to the base. So, I can find area of A D area of triangle A D E and area of triangle B D E. So, that my A D as well as B D will come into picture ok I am going to do that. So, I am going to that construction is there directly I am proving it, but you will have to write the construction steps there what are the construction steps draw E F perpendicular to A D and join B E that is what the construction right. So, proof is going to be consider consider area of triangle what is the triangle A D E area of triangle A D E divided by area of triangle B D E ok. So, for this triangle A D E base is equal to A D corresponding altitude is equal to E F. So, that half into base is A D into the corresponding altitude is going to be E F whole divided by area of triangle B D E B D E again half into base of B D E is D B and corresponding altitude just now we discussed this is the corresponding altitude that is E F right. So, half into base into height did you get my point. So, the corresponding altitude as well as the base right see here the corresponding altitude as well as the base that I am going to write here if you once observe in both numerator as well as denominator. So, here the numerator is A D into E F divided by half into D B into what is that D B into again E F. So, that I can cancel half and half can cancel E F and E F finally, left with A D by D B A D by D B that is what area of triangle A D E by area of triangle B D E. Now, I want A E by E C also whatever the concept that you applied for A D by D B you do the same thing for A E by E C also for that what has to be done here you need to draw perpendicular from D let it be some G and then you will have to join 
D and C. See, in the same way you can find area of triangle A D E because A E is the base and corresponding altitude is this and similarly for the other triangle also. Now, I am going to write consider area of triangle what is the triangle A E D A E D divided by area of triangle now this is E C D or C D E whatever it is is equal to C D E okay? is equal to half into what is the base of A E D base of A E D is going to be A E is the base into what is the corresponding altitude corresponding altitude is D G whole divided by half into this base is equal to E C into corresponding altitude of course, D G is the corresponding altitude. So, we can cancel half and half D G D G you left with A E by E C. So, A E by E C. So, what are you going to prove here? You are going to prove that A D by D B is equal to A E by E C. In order to prove A D by D B equal to A E by E C, left hand side should be same otherwise we cannot equate right hand side. But what are left hand sides here? A D E by B D E here A E D by C E D it means both the numerators are same if you once observe A D E A E D both the areas are same of course both the numerators are same what about the denominators here it is B D E here it is C D E. So, our primary task here is how to prove that area of B D E and area of C D E both are equal for that you need to observe the figure carefully. C D E and B C both are the two parallel lines and uh, the first triangle is B D E, B D E this is the triangle, C D E this is the triangle. See the triangle B D E and C D E lying on the same base D E and between same parallel lines D E and B C. Did you observe that? Triangles B D E and triangle C D E lying on the same base D E and between same parallel lines D E and B C. In our ninth class, the concept of areas of triangles and parallelograms we discuss this um, thing about areas that if two triangles lying on the same base and between same parallel lines then their areas are same that is the concept that we are going to apply here now. So, triangle B D E and triangle C D E lying on the same base D E and between same parallel lines D E and B C therefore, their areas are same therefore, you should write that area of triangle B D E is equal to area of triangle C D E therefore, B D E and C D E both are same therefore, left hand sides are equal we can equally say that right hand sides are equal therefore, A D by D B is equal to A E by E C. So, this way you can prove basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem hope uh, I feel that it is very interesting right hope you understand and enjoy it. Thank you.